it's Gleason, and welcome back to Mechanical Minecraft. This is episode 28, and we are playing in Mindcrack Pack version 8.1. That's right, we've had an update, and that means a computer craft update, and this no longer works. Um, I'm not totally sure, but I think it's something to do with misp peripherals, and I really don't want to look into it, because we now have a bit of way of energy transport, which is why we got all these. Um, so as you can see I enchanted some Thorncraft tools, which I got really unlucky with. Um, efficiency 4, okay. I wanted repair. Fortune 3, which is pretty much useless on a shovel. Uh, repair 2, that's probably the best thing I got. Um, actually no, that's the best thing I got, but you know what I mean. And efficiency 4, silk touch. And I mainly wanted repair, but oh well. I'll have to work on that later. Um, but as you can see I killed 196 Endermen. Tier 2. Um, Yes, and got a bunch of ender pearls, which is very nice. Actually, gonna grab a bunch right now. Grab a couple bunches, <coughs> and we are going to make some good old. No, they're not old. They're very new. <laughs> tesseracts. So first, we need an un tesseract frame. So that's hardened glass and diamond. Do I? Do I have any? Dang it! I was hoping that I actually made some beforehand, but I did not. So where is my obsidian? Let's grab some of you, and I now have a pulverizing chest to make this easy, but it's full of cobblestone at the moment. So let's jump down here and actually grab out some of that cobblestone. So that I can put some obsidian in there, like I want to. If the obsidian's ever going to go in there. What's going on? Oh, the obsidian's already in there. And just in a different one, but it looks. Okay, let's jump across. Oh, what? No, that's not obsidian, is it? No, it's peat. <laughs> obsidian must be still be stuck in that filter. There it is, I see it. It's in the system. Get in there, buddy. You can do it. Yes! Alright, as you can see, um, I'm pulverizing a lot of my cobble at the moment. Um, but the problem we now have is that all our barrels are currently full. Two extra dimensionals and a bunch of normals, so I don't think I'm, I want to store too much more cobble because that's more than a lifetime supply. I might end up replacing some of these cobble barrels with barrels for other things because, yeah, it's a bit ridiculous keeping that much, I think. Um, but yes, that is the system I do have to set up eventually. But I'm not too keen to do that, so I'm not doing it yet. Um, we also need some pulverized lead. So let's just pulverize a whole bunch. Why not? I also haven't connected that liquid duct back up yet, have I? Um, so my lead... I'm actually going to put it into the pulverizer manually because that's probably the easiest way to do it. There we go. So we've got a lead and obsidian pulverizing, so let's head up. And hopefully in a minute we'll get we'll see our lead. We've got a full barrel of sand over here, so I'm turning it straight into glass at the moment, just by hand. Although sometimes this filter gets clogged for an unknown reason. Like the powered furnace is not full, but it just gets stuck. And what did I do to fix it? I cannot remember. I'll just save it for now. It's not a huge deal. Okay, there's some of our lead, we've got some more obsidian, and we can easily turn these things into the stuff that we want. So, you there, and you there. There you go, hard glass. Not easy to make now than it used to be for me. Now I've got the pulverizer and stuff set up. Cool. Four, and I'm going to need another four, at least. Let's see, let's restock it with what we've got there. There we go. So I had in glass, we also need a bit of tin, which is there, and some diamonds, which is up here. Let's grab two for now. So I believe it's like that, and then tin in the corners. There we go, undertuned tesseract, I mean, just tesseract frames. Now we need to head over to our magna, magma crucible. Transposer has nothing in it. Awesome. That couldn't have gone any better. We could put our tesseract frames in there, and we put some ender pearls in here. 
put four in and see how far that gets me. I think four might do one, one Tesseract frames worth. We'll see though, I'm not 100% sure on that, because I didn't look it up. But yeah, seven, 250 MB per... Be cool. Or oh, wouldn't it not be awesome to get a whole frame, I mean a whole tank full of this stuff, like a railcraft tank? That would be pretty epic. One, two, three, four. Takes a bit of time too, I didn't expect that. Yes, getting this up and running will be very advantageous. There is a 25% energy loss though, so that's not a good thing. Um, I think it's 25%. I don't know if it scales over time or not, so I'll get back to you on that maybe. Actually, you probably won't. I'm too lazy. Not really. Um, so, this Tesseract is almost done. I'm going to need some more stuff. There we go. So now I need new tesseract. So I've got energy tesseracts, and to turn it into energy tesseracts, we need some redstone conductors, conductance coils, which means we need some more electrum. I thought I stockpiled a bit of electrum, I think. And this chest. No, I didn't. That's very strange. I'm oh, sure I did. Um, how do you get electrum these days? I think it's just gold and silver, isn't it? special ways of getting it by the looks, so gold and silver. Nope. I think it's when I... Oh, I don't know what it is that makes my mouse go funny. I honestly do not know. Well, I'm going to pulverize some of this stuff. My hand would probably be the best way to do it. 16 in there, and... Sixteen in there. Throw you away. We're never gonna use you again. Gold away. You away. Let's chuck you guys out. We should start seeing some gold and silver in here. Good, good, good. Cook up some more hot and glass. Did the gold and silver use the? Ah, uh, let's have a look at the recipes. Not oh, good. It's just in the crafting table. Perfect. Just get me a bunch of electrum. Sixteen. Good. Now we do need to start making this guy work. What did they do to fix it? I cannot remember. Why would it be broken? That's what I don't get. It is facing our way, isn't it? Yeah. And this is pulsing under here, so... That's not the issue. I might just pick it up and replace it, I think. It is quite a fast pickaxe, just so you know, but... Pity I didn't get any good in chance. There you go, that's what I was looking for. Wait, kind of what I... Ooh! Oh yeah, it tells you the the most common... I forgot about that function. See, why wouldn't it keep pulsing? Why do they only pull out the couple things? The one thing, actually. That's silly. Very silly, actually. Not behaving very well at all. But anyway, we should have some Electrum in here. Good. We need some conductance coils. Yes, I did plan ahead. No, not really, I'm lying. I'm not that attuned to this game. Um, so I need lead. Did I put the lead? Oh no, I'm cooking it all up, that's right. That should be enough. Ooh, no, I don't have enough redstone to make more of you. Lead and Electrum and Redstone. What's that say? Conductane. Conductance. Oh, right. <laughs> what is that new word? Nope. Silver, yep. And of course.
let me put my server away. Bing bing, energy tesseract. Awesome. So now, this is going to be a very different system. Very, a very different system. So, if I set an exit and I go label get okay, so he does have a label. Alright, I don't think the one on the other side does, actually. But I am not going to be using these fellows anymore. Neither you. These, this energy tesseract is just going to be an add-on to this line down here. I'll probably have a bunch of these set up, but I'm going to put him there. I'm going to put 0, 1. And it will be called Quarry and... Actually, no, this will be called Main Power. Because I'll probably have many things tapping into this guy. Um, add, save, yes. Information. Use these to quickly transport across fast distances. Tune to the end of frequency to determine links. Tutorial. Alright, so, access does not matter, and I want to make it send only. I don't want him to receive nothing. So I've got the main power set up there, make sure that's ticked. Now I can head to my quarry. Yeah, that's where my energy is building up. If I head to my quarry now, how's my energy backpack? Very good. Look how long it takes me to get to my quarry. If I go into hover mode, I'm like still way above the trees when I get above it. It's pretty epic. So go here. I can pick this guy up. He, he doesn't have a label, does he? No, I will say... Yeah, yeah I will. No, I won't. No, wait. You're gone. What just? What did I just do? Oh, that sounds like I saw something go down. I can pick you up because you are not necessary. I can pick you up because you are not necessary. And I can put you down. You can say main power. Receive only a tick. So now, my quarry is running at the, at the speed that the... This is getting energy, and it's losing a fair fair amount, which is kind of sad, but oh well. I'm really looking forward to this fella getting down to redstone and diamond level. More redstone than diamond, because I keep running out of the stuff. You don't have much further. So, yeah, it's not too bad. It's at, it's at 30, 29. It needs to get to 24 at least, so... Not too far off, and I put a chunk loader here. I don't know if I showed you guys that. Alright, so let's head back to base. I can no longer get up high enough. It, like, it takes me as long as fast as I can fly up to get to my base. This is also something we're going to have to fix fairly soon, and I am out of peat. Dang it. That means all my paint will be going to this diamond chest at the moment. Maybe it just happened? I did have some golden silver dust, huh? Let's actually get some of this stuff out. And I dump it over the edge. Alright. Where's my peat? Because I know that the peat farm at its current state will not keep up with this, but it is that I think it has enough that it will manage for now. Dang it! How get That's annoying. That's interesting. So going to the top, they'll go to the bottom.
Come on, there's a piece of peat coming. Let it go in, let it go in. Ah, oh, dang it, I kicked it out. Alright, it's alright, I can just put it in manually. Snap, cobblestone. Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't get pulsed before another piece comes. I'm actually getting at it peat at a slower rate than I thought it, I would from this farm. If the steam engine is still using a bit. I guess I could make this work better by hooking this up to my main power with tesseracts, but... Yeah, I don't know. Forestry farms do like to eat up the energy. But this system is working, like, ultimately perfectly. I couldn't ask for anything better. It's got plenty of water buckets, plenty of sand from this guy. That's interesting, the sand, the pulverizer cannot keep up. I mean, it keeps up pretty well with the demand. Like, it doesn't get extra. <laughs> and here, here's always got plenty of peat, which is awesome. If the peat doesn't go into here, then it will go to the void pipe and not spill out into the ground. Awesome. So, what timing is on the episode, I wonder? I should have looked at the time before I started, but oh well. Let's check you in there. It's interesting, it's like at a perfect speed for my pulsar. Um, I'm going... Ow! Okay, that was physical pain. Nothing to do with you guys. So I'm going to put my tools away here. Just some of them. You can go in there as well. No, I want you in here. Yes, that'll do. Alright, so if I get some redstone of which, as I said before, I am running out glass pane and a piece of redstone BAM! We have a computer, Houston this is going to be our main control computer um, in summary, it will yeah, our main, no not our main control computer, it will be our main pulsing computer, I mean requesting computer. So basically, my plan is, I'll try and explain it in words, I don't know how it'll work out, but we've got all these ugly pipes running along here. The problem with these pneumatic tubes is I can't just put an item test rack there because I have this requester here. The requester is what supplies the stuff with Pete at the right amount intervals and the timer there as well. Um, so instead of doing it, the requester here, I'm going to put an item tesseract over here. It will have requesters going, requesting stuff to the item tesseract, and then the items, once they get to the other side, will filter their way to where they need to go. And the requesters will be pulsed by a main computer, and I see coal going in the wrong direction. Let's track where my Pete's going for a minute, hey? Why don't we do that? Is it actually going... Huh, it's going to this regardless. Nice. That's not so bad, I guess. Considering you can't keep up anyway. Um, but this computer will be our main pulsar. We'll be using bundled cables and stuff like that to be able to transfer the signal around. Um, but right now... I think I actually have a disk drive out here that I can uh, nab. Yeah. The computer doesn't need to be there either, and I'll steal all of you. I may even use the same disk. No use making a second disk for this, I guess. I'm going to put my computer down, and everything will be programmed to this disk. I think. And the disk has a startup boot on it, so I won't be doing that. <laughs> ah, funny. I'll put you there. Get some paper, and I'll make myself another floppy disk. This floppy disk, I can actually dye with some purple. Looks good.
Alrighty. So, edit. Pulse. That's an easy word to type. It won't be called that in the future because it will be called startup in the future. Alright, so. I just got to start thinking this through. The main premise of this program will be a very large for loop. So for i is equal to 1, 2, what is 5 minutes in seconds? It is 300 seconds. I knew that. Do I want 5 minutes or do I want 10 minutes? I think I'll say 10 minutes actually. So for i equals 10 to 600, do end, and then I'll have sleep 1 at the start of this. And so now I'll have lots of if statements in here using the modulus function. So if I go if i percentage, what number? 15, this will be for my Pete then end. So basically this modulus function gives the remainder so you know how you did division back in primary school and you're like 2 divided by 3 was 1 remainder 1 this gives you know that was a bad example 3 divided by 5 would be 1 remainder 2 and so up, up 3 modulus 5 would give the answer 2 because the remainder is 2 if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, so it gives a remainder. So what that is handy for is if you can check if that will be a zero. Which I'm not doing that right now. So if modulus 15 is equal to zero, so which means if i divided by 15 doesn't have a remainder, that means it is a factor or a... Oh, what's the word? Don't lose it now. I was doing so well. No. Multiple. If it's a multiple of 15, if i is a multiple of 15, it will be true. And this if statement will run. And so that means every 15 seconds, it will output this code because of that if statement, which I think is a very cool way of doing it. Um... I was actually going to experiment with this before I came in here, but oh well. So I can go redstone, stone, get bundled, no, set bundled output back colors. Dot. Oh, it might be just be color dot. What color? I've got blue. And I've got red. So let's put some bundle cable. Blue. So I'm going to put some bundle cable in the back here. I'm going to run it around. So that I can view it. Do I have something that will help me indicate this? Gotta have some pistons laying around, don't I? I just use redstone torches, I think. Where did that stone go? If I do that, that. I don't know how this stuff works properly. So if I run this, every 15 seconds, Hoping that this will pulse. Is, was there an error? Nope. Okay, so it did set it properly. How how would you get that to work? Huh. I don't understand red power sometimes. Um so that will turn on after fifteen seconds and I'll can terminate that. Now here's where to go to test. I want to do the same for, I'll say, two, then do that. Actually, no. 
the way that I originally thought to do this will be the best way of doing it. So if I modulus 3 is equal to 0, then redstone.set bundled output back colors dot red. I love the colors dot thing, that's way easier than finding the, like the whole binary power 2 value for it. So if I exit that, set up a red version. Let's go to you for now. Red down. That is very, very interesting. I did not expect that. Huh. You can only... Wow. That's very unexpected behavior. What? If I set these both to two... What happens? I'm not sure what's going on there, actually. It's just going to stay on red. Why would that happen? So the, the wiki says, set one or multiple colored signals in a red power bundled wire to connect it to side in order to set multiple signals, add color values you want to activate. If you have full values, use zero for the integer. Why would it turn one off when it turned the other on? Edit test. Redstone dot set bundled output back zero sleep one stone dot set this is just me doing some testing here because this is strange behavior that I did not expect in this back colors color dot blue sleep one Redstone. This is a long string oh, for a function thingy. Build output back. Back. Oh. Of course. Wait, what? Must have done a typo somewhere here. Let's turn that set bundled output. What? This is looking for a something. Looking for a equal sign or something. String test equals expected on line five. Okay. What's going on? I honestly have no idea. Am I blind or what's going on? Why ain't you working? <laughs> Alright, I'll be back soon. So I don't actually know what's going on here, I didn't actually spend much time to check because it is the end of the episode and we will finish up now. Um, so I do thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you do know what's going on, then I'll probably record the next part by then, um, if all it goes well, and already worked it out if, if I haven't recorded it yet. Um, but feel free to let me know what you think is wrong and how I can do this system like, all together if you have any ideas. Which I'm pretty sure I got it down pat, but you never know, you could, might come up with something that I didn't think of. 
Alright, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did enjoy it, I would greatly appreciate a like. And I will see you guys next time.